Okay, so we are gonna do um, some foundation and primer and all those good stuff, okay? So first we are going to do some primer. I am trying out my lighting, seeing if this will work. I might need to lower it. Yeah, we'll lower it. Okay, so we're gonna start off and go with some primer. And usually you only need like a little dot, but I've been doing like two dots on my cheeks and then just rubbing it all in everywhere. That's what I've been doing. Um, so anyway, we're going to go with some primer. This is Unique's um, primer. Um, if you've never heard of Unique and stuff, go check it out. The link will be below in the description box. Um... Now we're going to go in with some foundation. Now I have noticed that definitely I like using a beauty blender. And what I like to do is use my setting spray. My Behold setting spray. You could use rose water. You could use regular water. However you want to do it. Okay. Just a damp beauty blender. That's what I've been loving doing. So we're going to take my mirror over here. And I actually have a mirror in here, so. Okay, so we are going to go in with this. So I'm going to go from here. I'm going to go here, 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 ah. And of course I need a headband. I'm going to put a headband in a second. Okay, there, down the nose, on the sides, down my neck a little bit, and we're good. That should be enough. This stuff is a full coverage foundation, okay? This stick foundation is full coverage. We just came out with it and stuff like a month ago. Something like that? Yeah, a month ago. It was in March, so... And we're going to take my, um, that's what I was doing. Grab a head, headband. Um, okay, so we're going to grab a headband. And put that in my hair right now. Okay. So now we're going to take some setting spray. And I'm going to wet my blender pretty good. And we're going to go straight into the foundation. And all I do is just beat the foundation into my skin basically i already have primer on you guys saw that um we have some primer on so it is primer is essential because um when it comes to foundation and stuff you want to um have the foundation sit on the primer because you don't want to just have it sit in your skin because it's way better to have primer as a boundary for your skin. Um, and this primer does not clog your pores, any of that stuff. So, really, really good. Um, but look at this coverage, though. Look at that. Already, you can totally tell that it is a full coverage foundation. And we're not even, like, putting... Like, we didn't put anything else other than the primer and foundation stick because right now I'm enjoying the foundation stick like I said I really like using the blender on it um using a damp blender because it seems like it really works way better I haven't actually tried like the kabuki brush or anything like that um but I've done the blender and I really like it so so far I'm really liking it um Guys, I will tell you that I won't talk about something that I don't like. I will tell you that right now because I'm sure you all don't know me. Um, if you just now, you know, found my channel and stuff like that, please subscribe. It would be much more appreciated. I go live on my Facebook page. So if you want to go, you know, follow and stuff like that, go follow. Um, I go live on my Facebook page. A lot actually I go Facebook base or go live on Facebook basically every day so I'm trying to do a uploading schedule right now trying to figure out exactly how I want to 
um, do this when it comes to YouTube and stuff. So, yeah. Um, trying to figure that out. So, now we're going to go in with this concealer. This is the concealer stick, but we don't have it anymore. So, you would just have to go with the regular concealer. Um, but this is, this isn't, I don't even think this is like scarlet. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. No, this has light. So, it's not exactly the color scarlet. Scarlet's way lighter and brighter. It's the lightest shade we have. Um, and if you need color match or anything like that, you can definitely, um, can definitely message you know off of messenger or you can comment below and i will get back to you um and we can figure out your shade because i shade match people every single day when they need it okay i'm just gonna pat this in nicely i'm gonna try and get this corner here but Super nice, light, and bright. I'll get to my phone in a second. <laughs> so, if you don't know what Unique is, Unique is a makeup, skincare, perfume brand. Um, you know, they have presenters and stuff like that, which I'm a presenter. Um, but I will tell you that I won't talk about something that I don't love on this channel and stuff. I don't do it on, you know, I go live on Facebook and stuff and I only talk about the things I love. I talk about the things I like. I don't tell people, um, to, you know, I don't tell people that I like something when I don't. So, I'm not gonna do that. I'm an honest person. Um, I don't know how to explain it all the way but okay so now we're gonna go in um with the pressed foundation I've been loving using this as my contour like I said if you just now found my channel please subscribe it's much appreciated um and let me know what videos you want me to do give me any ideas of whatever you want me to do you want me to compare, you know, Unique with another brand? Let me know. Um, I will tell you that um, some brands I cannot use, though. That's a lot of times why I use Unique is because, um, like, Maybelline brand, I can't use it at all um, because it breaks me out really, really bad. Um, I have highly sensitive skin, and that's, like, a big reason why I, like, I use Unique and stuff is because I have so much highly sensitive skin that I can actually wear it. Um, and like a lot of other brands, I can't wear. There's a few that I can wear, that I have noticed that I can wear. Um, L'Oreal is one of them. I can use that. I don't usually use it, but um, if you need me to compare something, you know, let me know. I can compare something with L'Oreal, with Unique, or however you want me to do it. So just let me know. Give me a heads up what you want to see. And we'll see about that. But mostly, yeah, I use Unique products. That's what you're going to see. Like, a lot of times I do, like, this whole day routine makeup look that I'm going to be doing and stuff. So, that's what you'll be seeing is I use a lot of Unique products. Um, I barely use, like, any other product because, like I said, I have super highly sensitive skin. And half of the brands I can't even wear, so... There's a specific brand you want me to try or ask what if I can use it, let me know. And we can try. That's why I have Benadryl always on my desk. Because if I break out in something, um, that's when I'm like, yup, never using that again. So... All right, so there's that. All right, now we're going to go in with some setting powder. Because I have like, hold on. 
I can feel a hair that's like close by or something. Um, and if you have noticed and stuff like that, I did have like, I have redness and stuff like around here, around here. Um, but you know what? That foundation stick just covers it right up and it looks fantastic. So, and it just looks so flawless. I don't even know why. It just looks flawless. Okay. We're going to go with some setting powder. So this is our translucent behold setting powder. This stuff is so good. If you have oily skin, it will be your best friend. Um, but if you don't, I have dry, dry skin. Um, I still like it. I like it to set my face and stuff. Some people with dry skin uh, don't want to use it. They'd rather use the setting spray, which is totally an option too. I use both. Because I make sure this makeup is fully set. Um, and then... I'm going little by little, by the way. That's the why I'm going back into it. I'm, like, not grabbing so much. Okay. So, you want to use um, either setting power or setting spray. However you want to do it. I use both. I use the setting power to set all the, you know, this whole face and stuff. Um... And then after that, I go into, um, I'm trying to think. I can't think, sorry. Um, can't even think. Heavens. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't think. Oh, where's my, and there it is. Okay, so we're going to go into Surreal Blush. It's a really pretty, like, purpley color. It's really pretty, though. Um, okay, and we're just going to stipple that. This has, like, a sheen to it. Um... Some do and some don't. Tells you like which one, so. We have regular matte ones, but then we also have these with like a sheen to it. You guys have any questions too, just comment below. There we go. I really can see that. Hold on. There we go. You kind of can see it. Oh, I know. I just realized that light wasn't on. That light's not on. That's probably why you can't really see it all the way. Yeah, that was probably why. Okay, so there's that. Um, now we're going to go into, so we're going to play with palette six. So the best thing about palette six um, that we just came out on April 1st, number one, it is sold out um, when you, you can't get it separate. You can get it in this month's special um, if it's still April. Um, if not, I'm sure it's back in stock for regular separate um, purchase again. Because um, they will be coming back. Taking a sip of my drink. I love this cup. This tumbler is called Boss Babe Fuel. Um, and it, this is not sponsored. But I do want to talk about it. Because I just ordered from there. And I absolutely am obsessed. Okay. I'm obsessed with this like store. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you guys know it or not. But go look her up. Do it on a dime. She's a YouTuber and I love watching her. Um, so she has talked about this um, basically dollar store, but it's called Holler. Okay. Um, and I don't know if you guys have heard of it or not, but it's really, really cool. I really like it um, because I tried it actually. I wanted to try and see if I liked it. And 
and I bought some things from it and I just got them in what was it I just got them in yesterday and I was so happy with my purchase um, one of my purchases was this. It says Boss Babe Fuel because if you guys don't know, Unique is my job. Um, it's my job and I love it. And uh, the best thing is I work from home, which is really, really great for me. Um, so anyway, all right. So we're going to go into real quick Audacious Brown as Brows. So anyway... I bought this mirror also, which is really cute. And it says, Darling Be Daring. Okay, again, this is not sponsored, but I do want to talk about it because I've never bought from there until a, a couple days ago. And this came, like, really, really fast. Um, and I'm really, really happy with all my purchases. So I bought, um, for really cheap, too, I bought this gorgeous mirror, which is really sturdy, and it's not, like, plasticky like you know you could totally break this immediately drop it and break it okay this is actually really good sturdy packaging and then the tumbler is so cute I love that it's funny because it matches um and then the other thing I bought which I won't show you all of them but um it says relax on it this is one of the boxes it was a whole set of boxes and I use these in my desk and stuff so I really 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 am so glad that I purchased finally from holler um i've been hearing such good things about it and i was so happy with everything that i just kind of wanted to you know shout them out and stuff so absolutely love it um it's a online dollar store which is really cool but it's like um uh, more branded where like walmart stuff basically is like in it which is really really cool so I really like it, so. Um, I do have, again, this is not sponsored, but I do have a link and stuff that I will put in the um, description box that if you want to try it and check it out, I recommend it. Um, go check it out and stuff. Go check it out for yourself and stuff. Just click the link and stuff. It'll take you straight there, so. And uh, if you click that link and stuff, it'll give you... I wish I would give you um, $2 or whatever it is already. It'll give you $2 um, when it comes to, I think it's credit or something, like $2 credit for you to purchase. But it's really, really like cheap pricing stuff, but it's like really nice stuff that's cheaply priced. It's like really, really cool. Like I said, I just tried it out and I'm absolutely in love with my purchases. I definitely will purchase from them again. So I'm getting better and better at brows, by the way. I am absolutely enjoying what I'm doing when it comes to my brows. They're not even, I know that, but that's okay. They're not twins, they're sisters. Oopsie. Okay, so then we're going to take the um little brush cleaner thing you guys can get this off amazon you can get it off wish you can get it off at walmart different things like that like they have them oh shoot i just looked down and i guess i spilled some of it from like last time wow Wow, wow, wow. My desk is like a mess now. <laughs> From last time. Okay, anyway. Now we're going to go into um, Calm out of this palette right here. Which is really great because you can use, like I said, you can use um, like the browns for brows. You can use the Calm color 
the really nice light one to like brighten up and clean up your brows. It's really, really nice. It's really nice that you can find, you know, that kind of a bunch of different things you can use with this palette. You don't have to just use it just as regular eyeshadow. You can totally use it for your brows and stuff, especially if you like powder and stuff for your brows. It's a great idea to use. I absolutely love this palette, so I, again, would not talk about it if I didn't love it. So, all right, let's go into the eyes now. So we're going to take the blending brush. And today we're going to go Supernatural. So, Naturals, and we're going to go into Audacious, the brown. Also, if you're wondering where this mirror is from, it's from Dollar Tree. Um, okay, so we're going to go into Audacious, the same brown we just used on the brows. And we're just going to take that and use it as a transition. Really like it. And again, I am not a makeup artist. I am self-taught. I just love doing makeup. I enjoy it a lot. I will be doing schooling online and stuff for it, though. Um, I will be doing that hopefully sometime this year. If not, it'll be next year. But Ooh, love that. Look at that. We're going to do the same thing on this side. This side is just a tiny, tiny bit different just because of how this eye is. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but this eye is a little different than this one. Um, if you've noticed that at all. I noticed that after a while. Oh, and whatever a tip for you is whatever spot you want the darkest you start right there or wherever you want the darkest you start wherever you want the darkest and then just go in as a transition super pretty okay let's go in with the light brown. So we are going to take. Where's that? We're going to take this deluxe brush. And we're going to go right into Enthralled. Which is a light brown. And I'm going to go all over the lid with it. Look how pretty that light brown is. Super, super pretty. Okay. Now that we got the light brown on there, and we got the dark brown, now we're going to go into, um, we're going to actually go into Delightful, this light pink color. So with this um, shadow palette, all this is infused with eye primer, which is great. But also um, this light, this light um, pink color is actually a different formula, so I recommend you kind of use your fingers, though, on it. Um, it's just a recommendation. Because the way this is made, it's almost like a pressed, um, 
what is it? Like almost like a pressed pigment. Um, and I just recommend you using your finger. I think it works just a little bit better. So make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> And I'm just going to coat it up a little bit to, like, show off that light pink. Look how pretty that is. And I took that light pink and put it in the inner corner, too. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Okay. Okay. That is super gorgeous. Now we're going to go into, um, what is it? We're going to go into that lofty color, um, which is super, super pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but, um, we can use that as a highlight if you want. Um, honestly, I probably will, but I'll add on to my regular highlight too, but I'm going to take... We're going to go into this brush right here. By the way, these brushes are off Wish. They're really, really nice. I like them. Um, we're going to go into Lofty and put that up here. Above. Above the brown and under the brows. To kind of brighten them up. And then we're going to take Lofty and put it right here. So I'm going to lighten this up a little bit. And we're going to just stick lofty right here. So it's not so dark now. It's more natural. More natural eye, but super shiny eye too, though. Okay, then I'm going to go back into Enthralled, which is that light brown. And I just want to take it back in the middle again to make sure that's not covered up, basically. Because I really want that color to show. Okay, then we're going to take that brush again and we're going to go back into Audacious a little bit and just kind of move that right here. Make it a little dark again. Tiny bit. There we go. There's more of a... Okay, I took that color off there. Now I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Super nice and like a natural look, but it's super, super like, it's a little smoky too. I like it. Okay, we're going to go back in with, where's that? We're going to take this brush. We're going to go into Delightful with the brush because I want to see how this works. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I definitely recommend using your finger. With this kind of color. Because with the brush, it does seem like it maybe gets a little patchy. With the brush. It's like really smooth when you use your finger though. I like both. I like, I think 
I like using the brush a little bit. You just do have to go lightly, though. So you don't, like, break the, um... So you don't break your palette. <laughs> when it comes to this shadow. Because it's so, so fragile. Loving that. That's really pretty. Okay, we're gonna go back into that. But not with a brush. This time with a little bit of my finger. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, love that. Alright, we're going to go back into Lofty a little bit with the inner corner here to brighten that up a little more. Super pretty. Okay. So now, um, we're going to take a brush real quick. I'll take this one. We're going to take this brush and we're going to go nice and lightly with the light enthralled and put it down here a little bit. We're going to put it lightly. Nice and light at the edge here. This one's going to be a little more difficult. Okay, that worked. Okay, now we're going to go into Lofty. Or first we're going to go with Calm. Which is, you know, super, super light. Like you can barely see it. Now we're going with Lofty. And go with that. On the edge here too to brighten it up a little more go 